Good morning, YouTube. Today we're gonna change the oil in Josh's little speedster. So are you recording all of the nefarious activities? I love the sound. Yeah, it sounds great. Oh, let me make sure you're not gonna fall off. Yeah. Very good. So apparently this car does not have an oil filter. It has an oil screen. Oh. So I have a new one here that came with a car. So. so you need to change the oil like a lot more often than normal? Apparently it only has two and a half quarts in it too. What? That's what Fred said. So we're about to find out. Two and a half quarts? Yep. What type of oil? 20 weight 50. 20 non, weight 50? Non-synthetic. Non-synthetic? Yeah, he said buy dyno oil. Why? I don't know. Okay. Got, you got O'Reilly's. He said this is what it needs. It's old school. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> well, this will be a fun learning process. I like three dollar a quart of oil. Right. Well, I suppose the good news is since it's only two quarts, changing it really often There's won't be a big the, deal. The heart of the beast. It's so cute. <laughs> Look at the tiny little thing. There's not much to it. No. Well, pretty soon this thing's gonna have a hot rod motor in it. Oh, that's right. They don't use an alternator. It's a generator. Yeah. That's your oil cap. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I've never had this thing in the air, so it'll be okay. interesting to see what it looks like I'll underneath. Say, I'm curious what this thing is. All right. Wow. Oh. I'm whoa. guessing the screen goes there. Oh, there's your leak. Yeah, it looks like there's a gasket there. Yeah. Look at this little exhaust. It's tiny, little it's tiny. It's kind of cool. I think it's like, it's gotta be titanium oh, or something. Oh, there's a leak here too. Probably just oil passages for cooling, oh, right? Yeah. What is, oh, this is your gearbox? Oh wow, so the transmission, <laughs> that's right, the transmission's in front of the engine. Looks like changing the spark plugs would be easy. I mean, everything looks easy on this thing. And there's not much to it. So it's got a drain plug and then you unscrew all those and then the filter. I guess. I, there's nothing else there. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's it. You can see where they cut the frame from the original Volkswagen oh, right there. Yeah, because welded it. They're shortened, right? Yeah, it's like shortened, I think 12 inches or something like that. Look at the grease on these joints. I wonder if there's like grease points or do you have to like manually. That's a good Oh, point. there are, right here. Oh, yeah. Just jack them with grease. Yeah. Looks like that's the steering is leaking a little or something's going on, or maybe that needs grease too. Pretty simple. There's, yeah, see, this is really, there's not a whole lot here. The suspension setup is interesting. There's no springs. What? Oh, you're right. Oh, don't they call them torsion bars or yeah. something? Or it's just a the swing the axle in the back. It's got like the shock is attached to the whoa thing that goes a swing, uh, the axle that goes across and up and over. So it's. I wonder how often you're supposed to change gearbox oil. Good question. I don't know. <laughs> Looks like we could have the engine out of this thing in like... Oh, half a day? <laughs> Probably more like two hours. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it, just, it looks... Unbolt the exhaust, which takes five minutes. Yeah, I'll say there's like... Unbolt the, unbolt the transmission bracket. Looks like this bracket holds it on somehow. Well, that's right. The, case, the crankcase is just two halves bolted together. Yeah. These things are nuts. It's so cute. It's so tiny. The fuel filter. There's an oil radiator. Really? Yeah, right, right up in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's got an electric fan. Yeah. That's probably a good thing. Yeah, that's it. It's got to be it's it. It's got to be it, yeah. Well, let's drain the oil first. And yeah. That's probably the drain plug. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely. I can't believe it's like two and a half It looks like what, like a 21 maybe? Mmm. 19? Who's going to be right? Place your bets. Place your bets. Is it going to be Josh or Dan? 19 or 21? Ah, uh, is that the 19? This is the 19. Boo! Josh may have been right. <laughs> Dan will now not admit this. Okay, YouTube. Oh, Josh was right. That makes me very sad.
Oh, there, there it goes. Yeah, well, navy changed bad. Yeah, it's pretty dark. Well, I guess that in a way that's good because it means it's not burning oil. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Hey, good news, it's still got oil. Yeah. I'd rather have black oil than no oil. Yeah. Yeah, uh, there's not much. No, that did not take long at all. Fred might be right. I would assume he's right. Yeah. He knows these pretty well. Okay, and those look like tens maybe. Yeah. Weird is one of them's like a stud. The, the rest look like or unless they're acorn nuts. Ah! Let's see over here. Yeah, it's going all over the place. Looks a little better. All right. Ten. Yeah. Oh, they are, yes, they are acorn nuts. Not on there very uh, tight. Yeah, they got a little crush washer, but I don't think it's crushed. <laughs> yeah, these things are like hand tight. No wonder it was leaking. Yeah, that, that might explain the leak. Well, that one came all the way out. Oh, stud and everything. That's the last one, right? Mm -hmm. How much is that filter? I don't know. I didn't. That came with the car. Oh, it was in the trunk when I got the car. I mean, it can't be that expensive. I wouldn't think so. Okay. Clunky clunk. Ooh. Plug some oil. Oh, there it is. There's the actual thing. Huh. Is there All anything right. in the screen? Not really. <laughs> this is some weird shit for us. Yeah, no <laughs> kidding. Like, what is going on? This thing came with all new crush washers. Oh, nice. And a, and a filter, too. Or uh, not a filter, Full a gasket. Pit. Okay. Oh. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> shit, I see one over here. Yeah, these are pretty tiny crush washers. I have the big one and two little ones. How yeah, many do you... Three little ones, there's probably... One missing? Yeah. yeah. It has two. Oh. One for each side. One on the oh. engine surface and then one on that okay. that's that makes outside sense. thing. These are funny. These are just made out of cardboard. It's literally a cardboard. It's literally feature. cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I understand what this does. Maybe just keep big chunks of shit out of the engine? Is there a specific orientation? I don't think so. Okay. I think as long as that spout goes in the center, I think we're good. The filter is just basically like large particulate, and that's yeah. it. I'll put this one on. You got the thing. The what? The thingy. That oh, yeah. Bottom cap. Old gasket off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that sucks. <laughs> First hard thing about this oil change. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like these cars are designed that it's just gonna leak. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a paper paper gasket. Yeah, and yeah. it'll hold for a little bit, but it's definitely gonna leak at some point. Do I need to take it down that far? Alright, so this wasn't the super easy task we thought. <laughs> this this is annoying. Okay. Yeah, I got this all cleaned off. Ooh. So now put this thing on here. Uh, new New crush washer. It can't be that much torque considering. I mean, it was, these were pretty loose on here, I'm assuming. It's a paper gasket, you at least gotta squish it. Yeah, I would think so. This is the weirdest oil change I've ever done. It's definitely unique. <laughs> I guess this is how they did it back in the day. P 
paper gaskets and paper gaskets and these weird ass no oil filter filters yeah these with no oil filter and such a low capacity and this thing's you know cooled with the oil you got to change your oil pretty often i say you probably want to be changed every like 2,000 miles I would feel like two or three at a yeah. minimum I think it's one of those you probably should do a star pattern. Yeah. I'm sure that everyone's going to be like, oh, you're supposed to do it this way, and this is the torque spec. Well, good for you. <laughs> Congratulations. You should probably give him one more. It's bleeding. I think this is one of those you probably got to retorque him after uh, a little while because. Doesn't seem like it's got much force behind it. I don't want to overdo it and like yeah, strip smash the whatever. I would put that center bolt in there. Oh shoot, that's still in the drain. New crush washer. Trying to dodge getting hit by oil here. I say it's still dripping all over the place. Those threads are kind of. Not super awesome. No, they're not. Should be good. We're in a line of fire. These are really handy, by the way. Yeah. I need to order another one of those. Yeah, I'll get a couple more. Is that literally held on with just a bar? It is. What is? The the head cover, the valve cover. Oh. It's literally just like a bar. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh, it looks a lot better. Alright, well. Lower it down, put some oil in. Yeah. Feels weird putting this cheap ass oil in here. Right, we're so used to synthetic Ash everything. Purple. Yeah. And she goes. Strange oil change. Yeah. Okay. We got to do an oil change on the 308. That would be funny. Oh, we definitely need to do the 308. Glug, glug, glug. Check the dipstick after two quarts. <laughs> Where is the dipstick? Oh, there's the marks. Okay. And there's the marks. It's like it's way down in there. Yeah, it is. Convenience was not as big a concern. Oh, I just noticed your air filter doesn't have a nut on it. Yeah, I saw that. You yeah. could probably do another half a quart. Okay. It's, so right, they, at the it's right at the bottom line. So they didn't lie. Interesting. Yep, right in the middle. Perfect. It'll go down a little when I start it. Yeah. I think either the engine mounts are shot or it's just that's just how they are probably. It's just probably how it is. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't think the engine mounts are blown after 5,000 miles. But probably not. Man, it moves around a lot. It's pretty funny. Alright, where are we at? About half? Yeah. I could probably add a tiny bit. Just to... Yeah, might as well. Considering it's air cooled. Yeah. We'd rather be in near top than near bottom. Yeah. All right. Found a nut for that. That's well, it. That was quick. I mean, other than weird gas. Well, now, scraping. now that you know exactly how to do it, it could do it in like 10 minutes next time. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Easy. There you go, YouTube. Changing the oil in a 1956, right? 57. 57 Speedster replica. With this is the, a 1916 cc engine. The 1916 cc engine, right. which is. 
basically like a modified it's 1600, right? It's 120 horsepower. Woo! Yeah. But this thing only weighs 1600 pounds. Yeah. So yeah. it gets up. It's not fast, but it's peppy. That's fun. It's, yeah, it's fun. It's got enough to go. All right, well, if you enjoy this, give us a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. We'll be doing some more cool car stuff, so you're gonna wanna stay tuned. It's gonna be sweet.